Hi, my name is Ian Turner and this really short presentation is on efficiency when you're marking as part of a team or part of a pair. OK, so the first step is the approach. So it's important as a pair or a team to agree how, how you're going to mark the work in advance. And this really incorporates three elements, um, how the assessment rubric uh, will be applied, um, the type, uh, numbers of comments that were made on the work, and how you're going to apply personalized feedback. Firstly, the rubric. So make sure the rubric shared between all members of the marking team and make sure that that rubric is understood. So the different descriptors and the differentiation of those descriptors on the work. And it may be easier for the rubric be fully uh, compared as a team once you've um, got some sample work in as part of your standardization exercise. And if you haven't already um, got a rubric, then it's not too late. And I recommend visiting the Digital Practice Handbook and accessing the rubric resources there. Then after you've agreed the rubric, agree the comments. So I think it's important to agree the frequency of comments. So how many comments that you'll make on the script and what kind of areas you will make comments on. So there's all different ways you can do this. You could agree to, in a text-based essay type piece of work, fully mark up the first couple of paragraphs, then only highlight new issues going forward, for example. Now, if you use a online marking tool, such as Turnitin, as you can see in the image here, then I would recommend that you uh, either co-create or one person creates a set of comments uh, for the work, which are then shared. Um, so this is obviously efficient in the first place, but also adds consistency in what the student sees uh, when they receive their marked course work back. And if you're unsure how to do those, the Digital Practice Handbook has a guide on how to create and share comment lists. So that's before the work. Now, during the um, marking, it's important that you stick to the agreed approach in terms of how the rubrics applied uh, and the comments. And it's important as soon as you possibly can hold a very brief standardization exercise when you can see how those two things are applied uh, across all members of the team. Um, then, of course, at the end, add the personalized comment. Um, so I think it's important to agree an approach in terms of style and length here. And though it may seem contrary to um, what, you've, what people feel, lengthy feedback is rarely valued or utilised effectively by students. So one approach that is commonly reported is the so-called feedback sandwich, where you use positive feedback uh, uh, around the more constructive feedback. Um, this is derided kind of in personnel management, but has um, some good resonance in this kind of setting. An approach I recommend, which is an adaptation of the sandwich, is the one that you can see on the box in front of you. So essentially, you start by telling these two students uh, things that they uh, did well on. So two well were areas that they've um, improved on, shown uh, good aptitude in. And then you include two developmental comments. So the, in many students' cases, there'd be more than two developmental comments. So instead, focus on the two main areas that, if they improved, would substantially increase the quality of the work. And it's really important that these personalised comments are both specific and focused. Um, and this is to avoid them being basically a repeat of information they could already gather from the rubric or the in-text comments. So specific examples uh, of how they um, um, did or didn't meet certain areas of the assessment rubric. So in summary, three points for effective marking a team or pair. First one is the students presented with a highlighted rubric. And by highlighted, I mean the rubric is ticked, marked, highlighted to show how the students performed against each of the descriptors. Two, the student has some comments which provide clarity to them on why they have scored against those specific descriptors. And these comments can be pre-populated and will be agreed into uh, frequency uh, uh, and areas. And finally, a brief, constructive, personalised comment on the main strengths and areas to develop of the work.